Argentine football legend Diego Maradona is dead. Well, the former Argentinian player reportedly died after suffering a cardiac arrest. The football legend suffered a cardiorespiratory arrest at his home in Buenos Aires. Well, his death is coming just two weeks after leaving the hospital. The 1986 World Cup winner, widely considered as one of the greatest players of the sport's history, underwent another successful brain surgery on a blood clot earlier this month. Well, Maradona last appeared in public on his 60th birthday last Friday before his side's league match against Potrento. Well, Fernando, that's Ferdinand Roja, has been tracking Maradona's career. Well, for more on this story, Arise News Sports correspondent Ferdinand Zuroa, he's joined by former Nigerian international, that's former African player of the year, Emmanuel Amunike. All right, thank you so much. And uh, it's quite a pleasure joining us now from his base in Spain. I'm very sure you can hear us now. Let's quickly go straight into the life and times of Diego Armando Maradona. Now, you are one of those footballers who I think I should say, you know, uh, use the expression, I had the privilege of playing with this icon, particularly well, we remember that very, very interesting game in 1994, Nigeria's first sojourn at the World Cup. And of course, a game we needed to win but talk to us about uh, your impression of uh, Diego Armando Maradona lining up uh, against him good evening well my impression is that uh, as a kid you know growing up and uh, losing the ambition of becoming a professional player I could remember in 86 yeah, they woke up in Mexico. Uh, we were all watching. I think that was the first time we were privileged to watch the World Cup. And uh, we saw the performance he did against England and against Belgium. And after that game, you know, everybody intend to, to bear the name of Maradona. Everybody wants to be Maradona. And then uh, 1994, like I have said, you know, I was privileged to, to have been in the same group with Argentine's team and uh, we were able to to play against him. But of course, uh, Maradona, I think, is somebody that, uh, you know, uh, has a lot of characters and uh, a lot of personalities. I remember our game against them when we lined out of the dressing room before we move into the pitch. Uh, you could see his commandment, you could see his talking and uh, the rest of his teammates, you know, Everybody were kind of uh, focused and uh, ready to play against us. Uh, but of course, Maradona, you know, most of us that grew up uh, watching the World Cup uh, always have that memory of Maradona. Yeah, people talk about Pele, uh, but Maradona is, for us, is somebody that uh, we have seen playing and what he has done in the football. But unfortunately, you know, when it comes to that, uh, there is nothing any of us can do. That is the will of God. What we can do is to give thanks to God that, you know, brought him first to this planet and gave him the quality and the talent that he possessed. And then we thank him also for making millions of fans, you know, all over the world to be happy. But like today, you know, God has called him and uh, what we can say is may his soul rest in perfect peace. And God will give his friends his family, the strength, you know, to withstand it, these difficult times and uh, to forge ahead. Well, you are a legend in your own right as uh, a winner of the prestigious award, the African Footballer of the Year. But then, well, when you talk about, um, you know, uh, Diego Maradona as uh, an icon, well, uh, exactly how much influence uh, did he have on the round leather game, people's perception of the round leather game? Well, I think Diego is uh, it's not just a football player. He's a symbol. He's a legend. And uh, he's somebody, when you talk about the game, what he has done, what he has contributed, uh, a lot of people admire him. A lot of people want to be like him. But unfortunately, you know, in this our career, uh, 
there are a lot of factors that makes you uh, to be whom you are. There's a lot of factors in as much as how famous you are. Uh, if you don't have people around you, if you don't have the capacity to, to realize that you are just a human being, at times it might lead you to, to destruction. Unfortunately, the drug aspect, you know, that has dominated uh, what Maradona is all about and what he represents. But there is no doubt about uh, whom he is in terms of what he has contributed to the game. And uh, like I have said, most of us at our youth age that uh, you know that we are privileged to you know to see him play uh, we still have that memory of him as a player not just as uh, the other side of the story but you know uh, the important thing is that uh, we thank god for his life and uh, we thank god for what he has done and i think uh, humanity will never you know forget about him history will never forget about him in as much as you know he has I passed on, but history will always remember when you talk about Maradona, when you talk about the greatest player on earth, the greatest players that have, you know, played this game. Uh, when Messi came on board, people were kind of comparing Messi and uh, Maradona. Uh, the funniest part of it is that uh, both players came from the same country. But unfortunately, you know, Messi is Messi and Maradona is Maradona. And, uh, you know, may he so rest in peace and... Uh, we pray that his family you know, can overcome this difficult time. Now, just um, like uh, you pointed out, well, in Maradona's, during his career and, um, well, in his life, he battled uh, uh, drug addiction and then uh, some of the characters, well, I remember watching that video of him pouring water on uh, a referee and saying that, uh, well, he wanted to see how men in black will react when they get water poured on uh, them. But then how much do you think uh, these uh, negatives affected the perception of who Diego Maradona is? Well, I think uh, we are all human beings. And uh, the human beings we are sometimes, you know, we have blood running on us. No matter how hard we try to pretend, no matter how hard we try to be, uh, when people talk negative things about you, of course, it will affect you. You have families, you have friends uh, that are related to you, and uh, you don't want such a thing. Unfortunately, like I have said, you know, uh, when you talk about Maradona, people relate to Maradona apart from the beautiful game and the beautiful things he has done. People relate to a drug aspect. Uh, but for me, you know, as a young guy and as a player, I prefer to look at the positive side. Uh, his contributions to us to the game. Uh, he said, the way we uh, admire him, the way we want to be like him. And, uh, uh, that's the part I, I, you know, I prefer to look. Of course, we are human beings. We are bound to make mistakes. He has made his mistakes. And uh, we just have to forge ahead. We have to remember him of, you know, uh, what he has done, uh, the changes he brought into the game, uh, the confidence he gave a lot of young players, uh, the capacity of believing that uh, working hard is is possible of becoming the greatest. And I think when you look at most young players today, uh, a lot of people, you know, follow the same trademark, believing that uh, doing the right, right thing, working very hard, you know, can put you in a place to become one of the greatest before i allow you go coach now uh it, it, it's quite uh, interesting to also remember that um well aside playing against uh, diego maradona in uh, that world cup in 1994 well you also played in spain and precisely you played uh, in barcelona a club side where maradona went to as a record signing now talk to us about um you know uh, his personality in spain and then his uh, impact uh, also well, I think Maradona is uh, Maradona is more recognized in Italy, in Napoli, mostly more than in Barcelona. Unfortunately, you know, he sustained an injury, uh, an ankle injury that kept him off for a very long time. But uh, you know, when you talk about uh, Maradona, people identify Maradona mostly with uh, the Napoli team. That is where you know. Uh, he won the Europa League and then he won the league with the Napoli team. He created a, you know, a, a lot of confidence he brought into the team with Careca from Brazil. 
uh, yeah, he played in Barcelona, but uh, not much. They talk about him uh, like the way they talk about him in Napoli. But of course, you know, uh, football is all about uh, where you find yourself. If you try as much as you can to do the best you can, and if the place you find yourself is not moving, fine, you can forge ahead and then try to look for new challenges. But there will never be a doubt about uh, Maradona, whom he is, uh, what quality he possesses, and uh, what he can do when he has the ball. I, I remember one of our game against them. Uh, there was a foul. I think, uh, you know, we were protecting the ball for him not to play so quick, initiate the game so quick, and then he just tapped the ball to one of our players standing in front of the ball. Uh, the, the player in question put his leg, and that ended us a yellow card. And then the, game, the goal they scored against us, it was a free kick also, without even asking for a distance. And then he just pushed the, pushed the ball quick, and it was a goal. So it tells you how effective he is, and it tells you how intelligent he is with the ball. And it tells you, you know, when he's in the field of play as a player during his time, how serious he is. He wants to win, but, uh, you know, unfortunately also, it has to end up after our game that uh, he was tested positive. But for me, you know, uh, when someone dies and everybody wants to talk the good, the bad, and uh, everything, but the important thing is uh, uh, let us recognize what he has done. Uh, whether we like it or not, he has been the pioneer of the game. He has brought a lot of changes into the game, and I think that respect should be accorded and respected to him. Well, come on, coach. Just um, uh, ten, ten more seconds uh, on this one. Maradona or Pele for you? Talking about the greatest footballer ever. Well, I will go with Maradona because I watch Maradona playing. Uh, unfortunately, Pele, I, I have never watched him play live. Uh, of course, I have watched some of his previous games, but uh, Maradona, we all watched him live and uh, we identify with him. Uh, as a player and as a young guy is growing, not seeing the ambition of becoming professional player. I think Maradona, but of course, that wouldn't take away what uh, Pele has done. Pele also is a great player at his own time. You know, he has been able to change the game. He has been able to, you know, bring in a lot of things. And then Maradona time also, he has brought in things just like Messi and Ronaldo during their time also, they have brought a lot of things. So we hope the next generation coming on board, they will also, you know, be able to move ahead of what uh, the previous players now have achieved. Well, thank you so much, uh, Coach uh, Emmanuel Amunike. And, uh, well, I must say at this point in time that, well, uh, Maradona is indeed uh, an icon. And, of course, uh, well, somebody that the world of football will never forget. Thank you so much for finding time to talk to us.